he was an analyst on a Wall Street firm and he called me up and he said, um, you know, Michael, you see what's happening with all these, you know, you know, e-commerce companies. And like, I literally said to him, like, fuck those guys. Like, I'm not interested. Like, you know, we make real money. And he said to me, look, if there's so much euphoria about this, like you ought to really think about it. I hung up on him. I'm like, I don't want to hear this. And then he called me back on Black Friday. It was probably the only day of the year that I couldn't work because I was in the business of selling shoes and closeouts to these retailers who they were all in the store selling this stuff. So there was nobody to sell anything to. And so he said, like, look, you're missing this, man. You should really think about this. And so I did what any entrepreneur would do. I called the CEO of the Sports Authority and the CEO of Models and the CEO of Dix. I said, yeah. what are you guys doing about this whole e-commerce thing? And everyone said the same thing to me. They're like, look, man, like, we don't understand e-commerce. This is, again, this is 1998, Christmas in 1998. Yeah, timing. Like, yeah. you're young. If, like, you have a solution for this, tell us. And, like, we'll do it with you. And after, like, 10 people said that to me, that's how I came up with the idea of starting GSI Commerce in 98. And so I did.